Beautiful people out there, welcome to another episode of FTD Facts. Now, are you guys ready to learn? Now, in this episode, we're talking about the biggest things that we know of currently in our universe. But before all of that, I want to know, do you guys believe that other intelligent beings exist in our universe? Sound off in the comments down below. We start off with the largest planet known as Super Jupiter. Now, this planet is 13 times more massive than Jupiter, which Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. This planet or orbits a star called Kappa Andromedae that is 2.5 times the mass of the Sun. It's located 170 light years away from Earth. Now the largest stars, so there's quite a bit of confusion around this one because there are two largest stars, but they're large in different ways. The first star is R136A1. Now this is the biggest in mass and brightness. It's located 163,000 light years away. It's located at the center of the R136 cluster of stars and it's currently the brightest known star. It radiates more energy in five seconds than our sun does in a whole year. So if we swapped out our sun and put R136A1 in place of it, it would outshine our sun 94,000 times. Now, if you look up in our sun, you can definitely get blind. But imagine if this star was our sun, like you just being alive would kill you. It's also 265 times the mass of our sun. Now the other largest star is the largest just in sheer size alone. This is the VY Canis Majoris and it's the largest just in sheer size alone. At one point however it was believed to be the largest star out there. It has a diameter of 1,967,640,000 kilometers and it's located 3,900 light years away from Earth. So when you compare the VY Canis Majoris to the R136A1. Canis Majoris is bigger, but R136A1 is more massive. There's a lot more particles that make up the star, as well as it shines a lot brighter. When we come down now to the largest asteroid that's ever been discovered, Ceres. Now Ceres is about one quarter the size of the moon and it orbits the sun between Mars and Jupiter in a region called the asteroid belt. Ceres was discovered by an Italian priest and astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi back in 1801 and as a matter of fact this was the first ever asteroid discovered and it still holds the record for being the largest to this day. Introducing the largest black hole. Like this is a super size black hole. Scientists are like, what the hell is this? This newfound black hole called SDSJ010013.02 plus 280225.8. Yeah, try saying that three times fast. It's the largest and brightest black hole ever found. Kind of an oxymoron that a black hole can actually be bright. It has a mass of 12 billion times that of our sun and it's about 429 trillion times brighter than the sun. It's 12.8 billion light years away from the earth. I'm glad it's that far away because something that size ain't gonna reach us in this lifetime. Whew. The largest galaxy on record is the IC 1101. It's located almost a billion light years away, right in the center of the Abel 2029 galaxy cluster. Now to kind of put things into perspective so you can understand a little bit more of how big this galaxy actually is, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is just 100,000 light years in diameter, but the IC 1101 is 2,000 times larger than that. Next up is this mysterious super void. In space, it's the largest object ever discovered. Astronomers have discovered this empty section in space which is missing about 10,000 galaxies they say. This super void doesn't have a name yet, it's 1.8 billion light years across. It's the largest known structure ever discovered in the universe. But what has scientists confused is why is it so empty? Now introducing something that I had no idea existed, the Lyman Alpha Blobs, or LAB for short. Now it was first ever discovered in the year 2000, and currently right now we know it's located at 11.5 billion light years away, and the Lyman Alpha Blob stretches 300,000 light years across. Now how it was discovered is that a team of scientists were observing a part in the universe that they felt was the most dense. Now there wasn't really anything particular that they were looking for, but one thing did stand out to them they found evidence of polarization. Matthew Hayes of the University of Toulouse in France, he says this, We have shown for the first time that the glow of this enigmatic object is scattered light 
from brilliant galaxies hidden within, rather than the gas throughout the clouds itself shining. The Shapley clusters, also known as the Shapley concentration, also known as SC124. Now this is the largest concentration of galaxies and because it's so big, they have like a gravitational unit that instead of expanding along with the universe, this cluster is actually pulling itself together. It's located in the constellation Centaurus and it is 650 million light years away. Oh my gosh, now the cosmic web. It's not as scary as it sounds actually. Now to give you a little bit more background before I do break down the cosmic web, stars are organized into galaxies which form galaxy groups, galaxy clusters, super clusters, sheets, walls, and filaments which are separated by huge voids creating a vast foam-like structure sometimes called the cosmic web. Now the spread of cosmic web gases stretches between galaxies. So although we may not be able to see the connections, galaxies in the universe are connected, making them in many cases a lot bigger than we can actually see with our eyes. Now it's unknown just how large the cosmic web actually extends, but the area that scientists have observed extend over 60 million light years. Now the biggest thing in the known universe isn't a single object in itself, but it is a collection of objects. Meet the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall or the HERCRBGW for for short, even though that was still long. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall is a collection of quasars which are active young galaxies. Dr. John Hakula, an astrophysicist professor at the College of Charleston in South Carolina, also one of the astronomers that discovered this structure, he says this and I quote, The HERCRBGW is larger than the theoretical upper limit on how big universal structures can be. Thus, it's a conundrum. It shouldn't exist, but apparently it does. So those were some of the biggest things in our known universe and now it's pretty crazy that when you study and observe these things you see just how puny and tiny our planet or even our solar system is in the grand scheme of things it makes you question what else is out there and what does this all mean the universe is very fascinating marvelous and interesting hope you guys learned something today and continue studying and learning and if you are new to this channel remember to subscribe to be notified of new videos each and every single week so so you can stay informed and learn. We cover topics on everything. So there's something for everyone. Until next time, guys, I'm Leroy Kenton. Peace out.